Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, The Succulent Greenhouse. In today's video, I wanted to show you these beautiful mugs that were sent to me by Natural Life. This is a really nice company. Um, they have all kinds of things on their website, and this is what they... Um, this is their little card they sent me. It says, we believe it's the little things that mean the most, that kindness really does matter. You should always be yourself, do what you love, and try to make the world a better place. And I totally agree with this. Um, that's what my channel is. I'm trying to put positive stuff out there into the world. And they sent me these beautiful mugs. And I'm going to, not only are they good for tea, soups, oatmeal, coffee, but I think they make beautiful planters. And have you, as you can see, many people use all kinds of sorts of um, items as planters. Um, so that's what I'll be doing here for you guys today they this is the folk art collection there is several of these um there's a chicken uh there's a cat there's a norwal they're beautiful i will post all the pictures at the end of the video of all their really cute mugs so that you guys can look through them and i will also link their website down below in this video i will be making drainage on all these um and i'll be showing you guys how to do that I've done this in the past um, in a previous video that I did. So I think the most important one for me to do to show you guys is going to be this one because you would wonder how would you make um, drainage because um, how would you lay this flat? So I'll be showing you guys how I do that carefully. And yeah, let's get with the video and I'll show you guys and then we'll also pot them up together. Okay, guys, as you can see, I'll be doing the fox first. The fox has ears, so you cannot really lay it flat on a surface, but um, if you get a towel and kind of cushion it like this, it should be okay. Um, and you need a drill and a diamond drill bit. Um, and a little bit of water to put on here just to help the, dr um, the drill bit. And I don't ever apply pressure down as I'm drilling I just only let the weight of the drill um, lean on the mug so that's how I do it um, I've never broken one yet knock on wood but I'll show you how I do it so I always like to start at an angle like this and then I start tilting it like that and I just let the weight of the drill do the work I don't apply pressure it's gonna be a little noise so I'm just gonna turn that noise down for you guys And that was very easy see and I catched the drill I caught the drill before it fell into that no damage done guys I've had a few guys tell me that um, you've broken some trying to do this I'm wondering if you're applying pressure of your weight onto it so um, I just wouldn't do that I would just let the drill do the work um, and just make sure you have a diamond drill bit these are inexpensive um, you can buy a set of five for um, 10 to 12 dollars on Amazon free shipping if you have prime but as you can see there you go that's pretty easy I'll show you um, the next one that it, it doesn't it won't lay flat because it has a little unicorn right here but again if you have a towel underneath it it's gonna cushion it get some water put it there and then, no, wait, just let the drill do the, the work.
And there you go. Nice and smooth. And this is the type of mug that I told you, you can tell it's gonna be easy because it starts to, to do that right away. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and drill the rest and then we'll pot them. So first one, we're gonna do the fox. She's so pretty. And for this one, actually I have a beautiful cactus. It's a cinnamon, copper, and bunny. Grab it. Here it is. This one you wanna be very careful and not Touch it with your hands because it will make your skin itch. You need some good old tongs. Let me put in some soil. Actually, I always like to put one of these little filters there so that the soil doesn't fall through. And then start filling it. Eat, eat. Inside of each mug, there's a cute little saying. This one says, um, cup of cozy. So cute. trying to plant it with one hand because you really do not want to touch this cactus. I should have had like an extra pair of um, tweezers or tongs, two tongs would have been good. Okay. Oh, sorry about that. We can do that. We'll just let some of the soil go here and then we'll fix it. Don't worry, I'm not touching the cactus. everything down with um, the tongs. letting her dogs out okay so that one's super cute we're gonna um, put it to the side for now and then we'll finish it up later and we're gonna move on to the next one and I'll show you all of them together how they look once we're done um, the next one we're gonna go ahead and do is the gnome Wanted to show you also um, if you wanted to make an arrangement. You can do you can make an arrangement. Or um yeah, we're gonna make an arrangement with this one. We're gonna use cuttings. Um, many people use cuttings to make arrangements. So this could have been a beautiful um, Valentine's gift as well. I have several cuttings that I would like to use. Let me gather them real quickly. I have um, 
I believe this is um, golden sedum. We can use one of these. Or maybe a smaller one. Yeah, I have, uh, this is um, Firestorm. There you go. I think that one. A little bit more soil in there. Okay. So let's see. And I normally, when I make um, cutting arrangements, I like to pack them with different cute plants. This one is California Sunset. This is very easy to put together. variegated version of the elephant bush as well so that will look really pretty here and, and now it's just very effortless this is very easy and very nice Look at how cute that looks. So cute. So that's another way to do it. Another option is just to pick out your favorite, um, maybe plant that you like. I really like these two. And sometimes I like to fill a pot with the same plant. So that's what I'm doing with this one. I think it will look super cute with the hedgehog here. Okay. Such a cute hedgehog. I forgot to read what the mugs for the um, gnome said, but this one says, enjoy the little things. And I find that succulents do well when they're nice and tight and compact. Let's see if I can squeeze both of these in here. Let's see now. There we go. That's much better. Maybe I should turn them. Let's go front to back like that. I think that will look cute. Like that. That looks so much better.
she's all done. She's got like a cute little mohawk going on. <laughs> And the last one, I had a another cactus that I would like to put on there. On there. lean her back like that for a minute. Hey guys, I'm just going to go ahead and clean these up and show you what they look like all guys, set up. here they are. How cute do these look in the greenhouse? They're so cute. I could just picture a bunch of these in here now. And it's just so, you know, welcoming and cute. I hope that you guys enjoyed all these with me. They are super cute and there is no um, one way to do it. You can, as you can see, you can plant them however you want. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to Nature's Lights for sending me your beautiful mugs. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe and check their description box below for all the information that you will need to find these mugs. You guys have a blessed day. Bye guys.